welcome to Low Carb Cafe. I'm Kelly. Today we're actually trying a recipe I have not cooked before, but it's supposed to taste like a Kentucky Fried Chicken without the crispy fried skin. So it, it looks to be incredibly easy. All you need to do is mix the ingredients in a bowl and throw it on the chicken and then throw the chicken in the oven for an hour. So, without further ado, here's what we're going to need for today's recipe. Okay. For today's recipe, you're going to need four boneless chicken breasts. I've already cut the fat off of them and put them in the pot in the pan. Six tablespoons of mayonnaise. One tablespoon of vinegar. I'm using rice vinegar because vinegar, that's what we have. And two tablespoons of lemon juice. And salt and pepper to taste. So I'm just going to salt. Oops, get this out of the way. Just going to salt the chicken breast lightly first. And I'm not a big fan of pepper, but I will give them a little bit to start. Okay. Now you do all you're going to do. This is so easy. Is just put all your ingredients together. my husband, the cameraman. Alright. Okay, here's a question. Have we even opened the lemon juice? <laughs> Clearly, we have not. But the oven's ready. <laughs> okay. I never said I was a professional, people. Alright. Take two. All right, two tablespoons of lemon juice that has just been opened, and then one tablespoon of vinegar. Well, it's kind of funky. Like I said, I haven't tried this recipe before, so I cannot guarantee Josh <laughs> My husband, the comedian. All right. I think that's pretty well, well mixed up. The next thing you do is you just kind of pour it over the chicken. A spatula, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to go grab a spatula real quick. Let's get the last of those dripping out of the pan. I think the idea is to kind of coat the chicken, but like I said, I haven't done this before, but I will certainly be back at the end of the video to tell you what I think of it. And that is good enough. Time to pop it in the oven. And the oven is supposed to be preheated to 350 degrees. And this is just going to go in. And the recipe says it's to go in until it, for an hour, until it is uh, kind of browning on the top and a little bit crispy. So. 
I'm going to stick it in there for an hour, and then we'll check it. That is it for now. I'll come back in an hour and let you know how it looks. Okay, time's up. Time to break out the chicken. Oh, man, does this look good? Look at that. Oh, yes. This is actually per chicken breast. This is less than a carb per chicken breast. How yummy is that? I haven't tasted it yet, so let me go get a fork and a knife and let it cool off and I'll taste it. Okay, here's the proof. Like I said, I have not tried this recipe before. So this will be the taste test. Mm. Mm. Very flavorful. <laughs> you had to sneak a peek. Very flavorful. You wouldn't think it would taste like it was full of herbs and spices, but it does. I can see how they can say this tastes like Kentucky Fried Chicken without the, uh, the crispy skin. It's actually really good. Probably something I'm going to make more often because it's very easy. So, my recommendation is definitely try it. Yeah, you're going to wind up with a lot of juice in the pan. See if you can make a gravy. But the chicken is good. So, that's it from here. Uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken Chicken is a thumbs up. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on Low Carb Cafe.